Hey you guys, this is Stephanie, and this is a little training on how to use one of my favorite apps. It's called Cam Scanner, and how I use it to really help support me as an itinerant teacher um, with a huge caseload of students in, in, in multiple, multiple schools. I use it in a variety of ways, primarily so that I can have needed information at my fingertips. So I'm gonna show you this app. So what you need is your phone. And what you want to do is you want to go into your app store and you want to download Cam Scanner, C-A-M-S-C-A-N-N-E-R. It's going to look, can you see that? It's the one with the C and the S on it, Cam Scanner. So you want to add that. Now, when you add it, it's going to ask you if you want the premium. It's going to look like you have to buy it. It's not true. The basic, um, the basic product is, is absolutely free. So on the bottom, there's a little X that you can just X right out of that. So just X right out of it. And then you will have cam scanner on your phone. So let's say, for example, I want to have a, a student audiogram at my fingertips that I can easily access anytime, which I need a lot because a lot of times I'm talking to my students about their audiograms. I'm teaching them about their hearing loss. I'm talking to teachers about what they hear and what they don't hear. And it's really nice to be able to pull up their audiogram and, and just really be able to explain it and talk it through with them. So for this example, I'm going to use an audiogram. So I've got cam scanner on my phone and I, uh, on the bottom here, there is a little picture of a camera. So I'm going to click on that. And then I take a picture. Now, some of the other things that I take pictures of, student schedules, school schedules. Anybody else ever have to reschedule a student? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so we take a picture. And then what's cool is that it automatically crops it for you. So then you click on next step, the little arrow, and it takes it. And then up at the top, I rename it. So I'm going to, you tap on the top part up at the top, and then you can rename it. So I'm just gonna name it student with my student initials, and I call it audiogram. Student initials, audiogram. And then I click on the little check that says done. So then, this is where the magic happens. I've got this here. Along the bottom, there's a couple of options. It says share, email, or more, PDF preview. You can click on share, you can click on email. I like to click on more. And you'll see this little menu of options, including being able to share to the cloud, being able to email it to yourself, being able to print it. Um, what I'm gonna do today to show you is that we're going to upload it. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna upload it. I use Google Drive. So I'm uploading it to my Google Drive as a PDF file. So then I upload it and it's gonna show that it's uploading. And then upload completed. So now when I go to my Google Drive, it is now in my Google Drive. Now, what is cool about this is now that it's in your Google Drive, not only do you have it, not only can you access it anytime, but if you put your student on your calendar, if you use a Google Calendar, you can actually take the link that you the sharing link from this from Cam Scanner, whatever it is, whether it's a schedule, an audiogram, IEP, whatever, you can take the, the sharing link and then you can copy and paste it into your calendar for your students. And then you repeat your appointments. And then every time you log into your calendar, you've got access to that form right there on your calendar. I'll go into that a little bit more in a different training. But for now, I just wanted to show you Cam Scanner and how you can take a picture of anything and send it right to your Google Drive and have it at your fingertips on your phone. You have questions? Just let me know.
Thanks.